Here's an example of motional EMF using a slide wire generator. A 1.5 meter long metal bar is pulled to the right at a steady 5 meters per second, perpendicular to a uniform magnetic field of 0.75 Tesla directed out of the page. The parallel metal rails are connected through a 25 ohm resistor. You may ignore the resistance of the bar and of the rails. What is the force C required to keep the bar moving at a constant velocity of 5 meters per second? At what rate is energy dissipated in the resistor? On the picture, indicate the positive and negative ends of the metal bar and the direction in which current flows in the resistor. And what is the current in the resistor if the magnetic field is not perpendicular to the page but at an angle of 70 degrees from the vertical? We begin by drawing a diagram and adding the information. To find the force, we are going to need the current that travels through. And to find the current, we're going to need to find the EMF. So this is where we'll start. For a bar that is placed perpendicular to a magnetic field and that travels perpendicularly to the magnetic field, the induced EMF is given by the motional EMF formula. E is equal to BLV. To find the current, we will need to use Ohm's law, V is equal to IR, and rewrite it as I is equal to V over R. This makes the current I is equal to BLV over R. The magnetic force on a current carrying branch is given by IL cross B. In this case, the angle between the current carrying rod and the magnetic field is 90 degrees. So when we calculate the magnitude, we will get ILB sine 90. Sine 90 is equal to 1, of course, so we don't need to worry about it anymore. Replace the current I with BLV over R. This makes the force equal to B squared multiplied by L squared multiplied by V and divided by R. Plugging the numbers in, 0.75 Tesla squared multiplied by 1.5 meters squared multiplied by 5 meters per second divided by 25 ohms gives us 0.253 newtons. Now this is the magnetic force that we've just calculated, but of course the pulling force has to be of equal magnitude and opposite direction for the bar to move at a constant speed. Now to find the rate at which energy is dissipated in the resistor. Well, a rate at which energy is used or provided is just power and electric power is calculated by multiplying the potential difference by the current. Because the resistor is ohmic, we can also use I squared times R. We found an expression for the current in the first part of this problem, so we can calculate what BLV over R is. It's 0.225 amperes and 0.225 squared multiplied by 25 ohms is 1.27 watts. You may also recall from classical mechanics that if an object is moving at a constant speed, the power exerted by a force will be given by F times V. And we can check that 0.253 newtons multiplied by 5 meters per second is also equal to 1.27 watts. Awesome! Now to find the direction of the induced current, we first look at the external field which points out of the page the amount of magnetic flux increases. This means that the induced magnetic field, which opposes the change, has to point into the page. I place my right thumb into the page and I look at the direction in which my right fingers are rotating. They're rotating clockwise and that is the direction of the induced current. The motional EMF, like a battery, provides electrical energy to the circuit. In order to provide a current that flows clockwise, we need to have the positive side of the moving bar on the bottom. Let's check if this makes sense. The current flows from the negative side to the positive side of the bar providing EMF, just like in a battery. I apply the right hand rule to find the magnetic force on this moving bar. I place my hand along the current, bend my fingers out of the page, and my thumb points to the left. This means that the magnetic force is pointing to the left. Necessarily, the pulling force must be to the right in order for the two forces to balance and for the bar to travel at a constant 5 meters per second. 
This is consistent with the statement of the problem, so it's A-OK. -okay. Now, what if the magnetic field is at 70 degrees from the horizontal, but the bar is still traveling at 5 meters per second? What is the current in the resistor? Let's see how the magnetic flux changes. Magnetic flux is given by the dot product of the magnetic field in the area vector. So we can write magnetic flux as BA cos theta. Remember that the area vector points at 90 degrees to the actual area. So the cos theta that we're going to be talking about are the 70 degrees between the vertical, our area vector points along the vertical, and the magnetic field. Then we can rewrite the magnetic flux as magnetic field times the length times the width of our shape times cos theta. To get the EMF, we have to take the negative of the number of turns, which in our case is 1, multiplied by the derivative of the magnetic flux with respect to time. In our case, the magnetic field stays constant, the length L stays constant, and the angle between the area vector and the magnetic field stays constant as well. So we can take all of these out of the derivative and we're left with negative n bl cos theta multiplied by the derivative of the width of our shape with respect to time. The derivative of the width of the shape or the change in the width of the shape is simply the speed at which the bar is moving. If we rearrange things a little bit we get something that's more familiar. E is equal to blv multiplied by cos theta this time. This means that the magnitude of our current is BLV cos theta divided by R. Plugging some numbers in, 0 0.75 tesla multiplied by 1.5 meters multiplied by 5 meters per second multiplied by cos of 70 and divided by 25 ohms is 77 milliamperes. Here is the solution on two pages. Spread the joy of physics!